Welcome aboard, Cadet. The purpose of today's session is to demonstrate the key concept every pilot should know when it comes to flying cooperatively in a combat environment, the concept of bullseye. The bullseye is a fixed reference point from which a pilot can determine his or her position and the position of other planes. In lock-on, most mission designers make this point waypoint one, which is what we will be using today. We are currently flying out of Anapa towards Kerch. However, because of the thick cloud layer, we cannot visually determine exactly where we are. However, using a map and knowledge of the HSI and the concept of bullseye, we can find our position or pause it and communicate it to other pilots. The first thing we need to look at is our HSI. If you do not know the basics of this instrument, I suggest you watch the in-game tutorials or read the electronic manual that came with the simulator. I have also made a navigation tutorial that covers this on my YouTube page. Recall that in the SC-27 and other Russian fighters, we have two needles. The first is a double white needle, representing the assigned course to the selected waypoint. The second is a yellow needle, showing the most direct heading to the current waypoint. This is the needle we are interested in. In the American jets, this is the equivalent of the outermost needle, showing the direct course to the selected waypoint. The first step in determining bullseye is setting the nav computer to the correct waypoint. Make sure you have en route mode selected if in a Russian bird, or nav mode selected if in a western aircraft. In either case, set waypoint 1 as the current waypoint. A bullseye call is used to communicate your position and is done in the following format. Bearing from bullseye, range to bullseye, and altitude. The acronym BRA can be used to memorize this. Bearing, range, and altitude. To determine our bearing, we need to look at the yellow needle. Because it points directly to bullseye, we know our heading to fly towards bullseye. However, this is the reciprocal of the heading that we're interested in. Thus, we need to look at the back end of the needle. This is our bearing from bullseye. Note the range scale on the upper left hand side of the HSI. This is the second piece, our range to bullseye. The last piece of information is our altitude, which we can find by glancing at the HUD or looking at our altimeter. Currently, we are flying at 5,000 meters, or metrics 5. Now that we have all three pieces of information, we can give our bullseye call. Arrow, bullseye, 100 for 59, or metrics 5. Be ready to state your heading 2 if requested. Our current heading is 300. Now let's look at our map. Our map shows a compass rose displayed on top of bullseye, and a grid where each square is 10 kilometers. We said our bullseye was 100 for 59 or metrics 5, heading 300. First we find the 100 line and draw a line from bullseye out 59 kilometers and place a dot. This is our position, noting that we are flying at 5000 meters. Our heading, which is 300, can be represented by another line. Say we requested the bullseye of a buddy who is flying ahead of us. He gives us the following call. Phoenix 1, Bullseye 070 for 40, Metric 6, Heading 270. We use the same procedure, drawing a line at 070, out 40 kilometers, and placing a dot and a heading vector, noting that he's flying at 6,000 meters. Now, say our buddy says there's a bandit to intercept, and calls his position as... Bandit's Bullseye 240 for 50, Metric 12. We can plot his point in the same manner. However, we can also plot a course to intercept him. We draw a line between us and him, then we draw a parallel line through bullseye and note the heading, which is 263. We now know that to intercept him we should fly about 263 and climb or point our radar up as he is flying at 12,000 meters. And that is the basic concept of bullseye as used in a combat situation. I am 104th Aero, flight instructor in the 104th Phoenix Virtual Fighter Bomber Squadron. Feel free to visit us at our website where you can join our team speak and chat with us on our forums. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you look forward to more in the future.